Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Now let's just get straight to the point. Cheese shell tacos. For those of us who are eating low carb or on keto, these shell tacos are a complete game changer. Our focus is mainly on total net carbs of the day, which we usually go about 20 to 25 net carbs per day. So now you know you're like, what the heck is a net carb? I'm here to tell you what it is. It's simple. It's the total grams of carbs minus the total grams of fiber equals net carbs. So since we're talking about tacos and cheese shells and the whatnot, a uh, corn tortilla averages about 13 grams of total carbs and has two grams of fiber. So 13 minus two equals 11. So that's 11 total net carbs out of your 20 to 25 that you used up for this one corn tortilla. One, you're gonna be hungry, you're gonna be starving. That's why this shell of cheese is a total game changer for you. In my previous video, I did a keto and low carb haul at Walmart. I purchased some Fiesta Blend Great Value brand cheese. And looking on that label, half a cup is two total carbs and total net carbs because there's no fiber in the cheese. But just think about it. There's 11 in this corn tortilla and just two and a half a cup of shredded cheese. Let's just aim for the shredded cheese. Make this thing easy for us. Now, if you made it this far into this video, I appreciate you because I've done a whole lot of talking. I probably bored some people. Some people probably skipped all the way to the end, but for you seeing this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video if you like it so far. I'll be sure to like it at the end because I know you will. Please hit that bell button to be notified every video that I upload. I'll be uploading weekly. And be sure to share my video to your friends, to your family, anybody who else is working in their way into keto, low carb eating. I have plenty of more videos, plenty of more recipes to come up. I'll be doing weigh-ins pretty soon just so you guys can see my progress. Um, I have a lot coming, so please stick with me. on medium I didn't put anything in it I don't remember when I made this before if I had it buttered oiled I don't know but it's on medium and we're gonna put some of the cheese in. I do remember is like make sure there's like no little holes I guess you want to say in it but you just kind of fill it in pretty much You could probably use a smaller skillet. That's definitely a thing for sure. And if the skillet does look familiar, in my previous, on my previous videos, I did a, a low carb and keto haul at the 99 cent store and I found this skillet for $4.99. Um, it's totally like my go-to skillet now for, you know, stuff I know it's really gonna freaking stick. And it's nothing stick, sticks to these things, so it's a pretty good deal. I feel in those little circles, I find them holes I see in that circle. Like, I just love cheese, so if I can have cheese every day, I will. Oh. And that that was beautiful. I'm too busy talking. I can't even think of what I'm doing. That was that was a gorgeous one. Look at that. Right, some people may not like the taste of like I mean, it's not really burned, but it's it gets burned cheese a bit. Not many people will like the taste. But me, I love it. It's fine. Um, so before I used a muffin pan to like keep the shape of the taco shell or the cheese shell, but I don't know where it is. So I'm going to use a plate, <laughs> a paper plate and fold it in half and sit it in there like so. The other side doesn't need to take as long, so. Oh, 
I guess kind of wedge that right there for her to keep it shape. made another one so I can have two tacos it's anyhow they harden very well very very well so let's go get this together how dare you close there we go okay. it's gonna I don't know how fancy this is going to look but One eternity later. I tell you, a girl was having difficulties trying to put the meat in the taco with one hand, so I had to put it in there already. But let's go over here. So my idea about a burrito shell really isn't going to cut it because it's too hard now. But you can break it up, dip it in some salsa, salsa and chips, cheese chips. So I um, got my meat from earlier in here, got my shells, we're going to cut up some avocados. So we're going to, maybe the, what is the process of making a taco? I don't know, I just throw everything on there. So we're just gonna go for it. Like, I just know cheese goes on top and I'm kind of upset I don't have any sour cream kind of upset got some oops already shredded lettuce i didn't shred it of course and nobody has time for that and put some cheese do was warm up the burrito shell and it will soften the cheese so I warmed it up for about 30 seconds and then I put all my toppings on and rolled it like a normal burrito and that right there looks so delicious so I'm gonna have myself a comeback and try this taco with you guys let's see sorry pretty massive Mm-hmm. 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 That's good, y'all. I'm like, I'm not even exaggerating. That's delicious. Thank you guys for sticking all the way through that video for me. Be sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button for future uploads and notifications i'll be back with you guys next week